Welcome to the discussion on problems on projection of straight line inclined to both the planes. Under this, we are discussing now seventh problem. Now we'll enter into the problem. The given problem is top view of a 75 mm long line CD measures 50 mm. End C is in HP and 50 mm in front of VP. End D is 15 mm in front of VP and it is above HP. Draw projections of CD and find angles with HP and VP. Now we'll extract the data from this problem. Now we will extract the data from the problem here. The top view of a 75 mm long line CD measures 50 mm. That means here true length of the line is 75 mm and top view length is 50 mm. End C is in HP and 50 mm in front of VP. So the front view image of the C point that is C dash is on XY line and top view image of the end C point is 50 mm below XY line. Then end D is 15 mm in front of VP. So its top view image say lowercase letter D is 15 mm below XY line and it is above HP. That means its front view say D dash is above XY line. Here the distance is not given. We have to find out. Then draw projections of CD and find angles with HP and VP. This is the pictorial representation of the information supplied in the problem. Now we'll write the data. Before writing the data, we need to recollect the terminology used under projection of straight line inclined to both the plane concept. The true length of the line CD is equal to 75 mm. Here, C dash D1 dash is the true length in front view and C D2 is the true length in top view. True inclinations with HP and VP, that is true inclination with HP is theta and true inclination with VP is phi. These values are not given in the problem. We need to find out and top view length is given in the problem that is C D1 is equal to 50 mm. Then end C in HP and 50 mm in front of VP. So its front view C dash is on XY line and its top view C is 50 mm below XY line. Then on the end D is 15 mm in front of VP and above HP. So its top view D2 is 15 mm below XY line and its front view D1 dash is above XY line. We need to draw projections of CD and find true inclination with HP that is theta and true inclination with VP that is phi value. Then we'll move towards brief overview of the solution for the given problem. Here in the problem, one end of the line say C's location is given that is C dash is on XY line and C is 50 mm below XY line and top view length is also given in the problem. Then top view of other end of line say D is also given. It is at a distance 15 mm below XY line. Then true length also supplied in the problem. Now with C as a center, true length as a radius, draw an arc on this locus line with that you will get true length in top view. Then C as a center, C D1 as a radius, draw an arc on this locus line so that you will get T, then join C and D so that you will get final top view. After drawing the final top view, then what's our objective? We need to draw final front view and we need to measure true inclinations with HP as well as VP. Here, C dash D1 dash is the true length in front view and C dash D dash is the final front view and then theta is the true length inclination with HP, phi is the true length inclination with VP. We need to draw final front view and we need to measure true length inclination with HP as well as VP. How to draw this final front view and how to get theta value and phi value that we will see in detail with the detailed construction right now. As a first step, draw XY line. After that, 
draw projector on xy line after drawing projector then locate the one end of the line say c's front view as well as top view points its front view say c dash is on xy line and its top view say c is at a distance 50 mm below xy line c dash is on xy line c is at a distance 50 mm below xy line that is its top view is at a distance 50 mm below xy line now at c draw a locus line for c after that another end of the line say d is at a distance 15 mm in front of vp that means its top view is at a distance 15 mm below xy line so this is the locus line for d or d2 its distance from the xy line is 15 mm after drawing locus line for c as well as d then in the problem it is mentioned that top view length is 50 mm next step is we need to draw top view here top view length is 50 mm at c parallel to xy line with a length of 50 mm draw a line and name the end point as d1 so c d1 is the top view length after drawing the top view then here in the problem true length is given true length is given as 75 mm so we need to draw true length in top view and we need to draw final top view so at c as a center true length 75 mm as a radius draw an arc on this line after drawing the arc we will get point d2 then joining c and d2 that is with c as a center and true length as a radius draw an arc on this locus line name the intersection point on the locus line as d2 joining c d2 c d2 is the true length of the line in top view after that c as a center with compass rotate another end of the top view say d1 towards this locus line there you will get point as d after that joining cd cd is the final top view next step is drawing final front view for drawing final front view what we need to do we need to draw apparent length of the front view for the cd2 true length how to draw apparent length in front view that we will see now c c d2 is the true length in top view for this true length we will draw apparent length in front view so for that what we have to do at d2 with drafter draw projector vertically up then that projector cuts the xy line at d2 dash then join c dash and d2 dash c dash d2 dash is the apparent length in front view so at d2 draw projector vertically up then name this intersection point on the xy line as d2 dash join c dash and d2 dash this is the apparent length in front view our objective is to draw final front view and then draw true length in front view so in order to draw final front view what we need to do at d draw projector vertically up we know that c c dash and d d dash are parallel to each other we know that c c dash and d d dash are parallel to each other they are called end projectors based upon this statement we will find the d dash location so at d draw projector vertically up after that c dash as a center c d2 dash as a radius draw an arc on to this projector then name this point as d dash join c dash and d dash this c dash and d dash is the 
final projection of the line in front u now at d dash draw locus line for d dash after that we'll draw true length in the front u how to draw true length in front u that we'll see now c dash as a center true length that is 75 mm as a radius draw an arc on this d dash locus line name this point as d1 dash then join c dash and d1 dash this c dash and d1 dash is the true length in front u and its inclination with hp is theta and its inclination with vp is phi we need to measure theta value as well as phi value that is theta is nothing but true length inclination with hp and phi is nothing but true length inclination with vp that is theta value as well as phi value is to be measured now we will do dimensioning here c d2 is the true length in top u and c dash d1 dash is the true length in front u and true length is equal to 75 mm then top u length say c d1 is 50 mm and the top u of c point is 50 mm below x y line and top u of d point is 15 mm below x y line here all these dimensions are in millimeters next step is we need to measure the inclination of the lines with the respective planes here theta is the inclination of the line say true length of the line with hp and phi is the true length inclination with vp and alpha is the front view inclination with hp beta is the top view inclination with vp here these are the values we found from the diagram here true inclination with hp that is theta is equal to 48 degrees true inclination with vp that is phi is equal to 28 degrees front view inclination with hp that is alpha is equal to 57 degrees top view inclination with vp that is beta is equal to 44 degrees now we will see finally pencil uses in the case of pencil uses of the lines here the final position of the line in front you say c dash d dash and final position of the line in top you say c d should be more darker than true length of the line in front you and top you and initial top you and initial front you that is when compared to initial top you and front you and true length of the lines in both front you and top you the final position of the line should be more darker and construction lines are with 3H pencil and dimensioning is with 2H pencil. That's about the solution for the given problem. Visit again for more videos on engineering graphics. The link is provided under description of this video. Keep learning and knowledge sharing. If you have any queries, you can mention under comment section under this video. I'll respond.